With the event just three days away, Columbus police are rolling out a new security system for this Saturday's Pride Parade. NBC4's Elise Changeri has more on the stepped up security at Pride. The first Pride March began 37 years ago with about 200 people. Fast forward to 2018, you'll see about half a million people. With that said, you can expect additional security to be sure that everyone stays safe. I've been a few times. I'm really looking forward just to the giant atmosphere, the community feel. It's going to be a lot of fun. I've actually never went before, but I will be going this year, so I am excited about it for sure. As the city of Columbus lights up for Pride, many are excited for this weekend's activities. Sergeant Dean Worthington says planning has been in the works for months, like Red, White and Boom and other large crowd events throughout the year. We do bring in special duty. So you're going to see officers on horses, on bikes, on foot in cruisers, you're going to see people that you won't even recognize as police officers. Some additions. We might be utilizing the bicycles a little bit differently than we did last year. See some large vehicles at our intersections that are there to prevent uh, vehicles from interfering with the parade or the festival. Stating the number one priority is to keep people safe. Don't be afraid to come down. Uh, this is a great event. It's one of the happier events that we have going on, one of the bigger ones we have going on. And just, just know that you're going to be safe. You're going to see a, a ton of police officers, which should be reassuring to the people who are coming down to enjoy the festival. I totally encourage it. I think that our police officers do a fantastic job here in Columbus. Across the board, I think that they just do fantastic work. Police want to remind you to be aware of your surroundings. If you see or hear anything that concerns you, tell a police officer nearby. Local for you in the short north, Elise Chingari, NBC4.